Okay, John, um, not, it's kind of dark in here, so I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see, but I just spoke with you on the phone about the other pump. This is where we would be going through connecting the other wall. I broke the floor over there, but when I started to tunnel through, I went like a foot and a half down here, and I'm still hitting, well, actually a foot and a half of where the dirt is right now, so like about two and a half feet, and I'm still hitting a footing. So anyways, these are footings that came out farther. This is the easier one. <laughs> um, let's see. Put around here. One there, which wasn't that big of a deal. This was the one that really got us. It's so big for this corner and expansion pole. So anyways, then uh, come along here. And I don't know if I, I could send you pics. I uh, took some pictures of how thick this concrete is when it was out. It's just crazy. I mean, you can almost kind of see from here. I don't know how good it's going to show, but I mean, it's easy eight inches. <laughs> and it was like this all the way. Anyways, then this is where we're going to propose putting the pit, the new pump and pit, and then go out the side wall. So you're, you are going to need an electrician to wire that, but we can get the pit in for right now. Um, then this is the wood window I was telling you. You see the block that was shifted there. They used expandable foam on it, but it's not drastically bad. It's not anything like the other side was. Um, this is the window they had blocked in. That, I imagine, goes into that chimney that's outside. But I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But, like, if you stand, you can see through outside quite a few areas and that's what I was talking about sealing the wall um, it's not like it's major drastic there's just some spots anyways I uh, just wanted to get that on video for you and um, I'll send that one out too thanks John